I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawasha. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. Dad, what an amazing opportunity you have spread out before me. A chance to make a difference for you in a desperately hurting world. I thank you so much for guiding me to see the needs you want me to see. I thank you so much for causing me to react in the way that honors you. I thank you so much for tenderizing my heart with the want and the need to bless others by simply serving them gladly with practical expressions of your love. Dad, help me be Yeshua's hands and feet, and through your spirit, please continue guiding me in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. For I know now I want, I need, and I must fulfill your plan for me in my own generation. And Satan, I rebuke you and come against you in the name of Yahushua. Father Yahuwah, Most High God, that I worship you in the name of your Son, Yahushua. I pray, I thank you, I love you. From a dream to a vision to reality. Genesis 37, 6. David is speaking to his brothers. And he said unto them, Hear, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. Another translation is, listen to this dream which I have had. Joseph had a dream, a vision of his life that came from Almighty Yahuwah God. Who wouldn't be excited about that, especially when such a dream promised great blessing and authority. Yet the mistake that Joseph made was thinking that the dream was an immediate reality rather than something the Lord God would work in and through his life over the years. It is an honest mistake that many of us make. We may believe that the path of God's plan will be easy and full of blessing. However, when we look at Joseph, David, and even Yahushua, we see that the fulfillment of the Father's plan takes commitment, takes faith, takes patience. Yes, the path of God's will is glorious, eternally so. But if you are struggling today because of what the Lord, Yahuwah, has shown you has not yet come to pass, fret not. Psalm 37, 3 through 9. Psalm 37, 3 through 9. Trust in the Lord and do good so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. 
Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. See, this time of pressure and waiting are part of the process of making you into the vessel worthy of carrying out all he has planned for you to accomplish. Listen, Ephesians 2.10, For we are his workmanship created in Christ Yahushua unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Let us pray this to Yahuwah God. Dad, the waiting and the challenges are so difficult, but I will trust in you because you always fulfill all your promises. I give you all the praise and the glory in Yahushua's name. Thank you. I love you. Please, if you will, turn to Psalm 11, 1 through 7. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow up on the stream, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, his countenance doth behold the upright. Listen, please. L listen to verse 1 again. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? Whew. God is speaking to you here. My beloved child, you never need to escape from any situation. I am your mountain of safety. There may come times in your life when you get weary of the burden or frightened of the surrounding pressures and demands or even the vibrations of hatred and all negatives that are directed against you. In that moment, when you feel that you cannot stand it any longer, you will want to run away, far, far away, and never again have to face all the things you hate, nor the people who hate you. At a time like this, it seems to you that if you could only get away from it all, if you could only fly like a bird high, high up into the mountains where there is quietness and peace and that you will there be happy. 
But my child, you cannot leave your troubles behind. They will go with you. Your hurts, your pains, and love will follow you up into the high mountain or far out into the desert. And so I say to your soul, you have to put your trust in me. I am with you. I am your far away desert. I am your high, high mountain. Let your weary soul fly with me. Let your weary soul fly to me. I will comfort you. I will put my arms around you. I will speak peace to your troubled soul. And I will heal your broken heart. I will protect you from your enemies and their schemes. I see it all. I hear it all. Even if you tried, you could not see nor hear it all, but I do. So put your trust in me. Turn your case over to me. Turn your case over to me and I will take you through triumphantly. Neither do you need to seek rest? I am your resting place. Fly to me. I will not only give your body rest, I will give your spirit and soul my rest also as you praise me. Let the wicked bend his bow. I will guide the direction which the arrow flies. No arrow can penetrate your armor. For if you have put on the Lord Jehusha Christ, as we said in Romans 13, 14, then I myself am your armor. And there are no joints up in my harness. 2 Chronicles eighteen thirty three. From a dream, to a vision, to reality, I am your safe mountain of refuge. You be blessed now, you hear?